Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, we are going to be doing part two to my video on my other channel. Go, we'll look up Tropical Emo 21. Top 30 women's wrestlers of all time. This is part two, so this is number eight through one. Before we get started, I just want to show a couple WWE things that I just got recently today. First we have Tony Storm action figure. The hair is kind of messed up, which makes me mad. But at least it's the blue color. And WrestleMania on DVD, which features a lot of the fire talent like Braun Strowman, Ruby Riot, Billy Kay, her last match, Lana, and yeah. But now let's get to the top 30 women's wrestlers. And number eight is Aaliyah from NXT. I've always liked Aaliyah. I'm sad that it's taken five years for her and she's still in NXT with no championships. She always comes, slays with the outfits. I like her moves, the Annihilator, that's good. Or Annihilation, same thing. And she's my favorite in NXT right now. She's been my favorite for a while, so. Lit. Okay, so number seven. Iconic Billy Kay. Billy Kay is like, she was my favorite of 2021. She replaced Alexa because Alexa's doing this whole doll thing and my boyfriend ruined her. But Billy Kay was really good. I liked her by herself and I liked her in the Iconics. She was just really funny. She wasn't the best in the ring, but like she definitely made up for it in comedy. So the rest of this video was filmed like a long time ago. Well, not the rest of this video, but number eight and seven were filmed a while ago, Aaliyah and Billy. Here's the rest of the final six. Sorry, I got busy. So number six, we have Alicia Fox. One of the most underrated women. Um, her character was iconic. She stuck to it like almost her whole career. She was Team Bella, in my opinion, the best out of the Bella team in 2015. Her storyline with Paige and her storyline with Sasha. I just love Alicia. And she's one of the prettiest superstars, so, yeah. Number five, Lana. Another really underrated superstar. She wasn't the best in ring, but, like, she had the most charisma and she tried the hardest. She took so many tables from Nia Jax. That was, like, the best feud of 2019, maybe. I meant 2020. 2020. 2020 and she was serving gears and everything and then they fired her why did they fire the people with the most fan base Braun and Lana I don't know okay I can see why they fired Lana because of Rusev but <laughs> that's a whole nother video um another superstar who comes in at number four is Liv Morgan I really wish she won money in the bank this year she was she was like thriving and a lot of people were like rooting for her and WWE was pushing her and then she didn't win which WWE often does that I just wish that she had uh, more going on but she's the only remaining Riot Squad member so there goes her tag team title dream unless they put her with a random pairing of someone like her and Carmella that would be gross but yeah Liv just slays number three is Mickey James. I don't care what anybody says, her versus true to her versus Trish, sorry, is the most iconic feud ever for the women's division. My favorite. Hopefully it's y'all's favorite. I don't know, but the best storyline and she is a really good wrestler. They underutilized her since her return. And then they fired her and had that whole trash bag thing. Great. Number two is Alexa Bliss. Yes, my boyfriend ruined her. I'm not going to say how, but she's still one of my favorites. She does good in her new gimmick. It's not for me, but she plays the character well. I miss the old Alexa Bliss where she was just a mean girl. Her Harley Quinn uh, attire it was slayful. 
and she's a good women's champion. I didn't like her team with Nikki Cross either. I liked both of them separately, but together they were just a no. And in on NXT, Alexis should have been a champion in my opinion, but she never got the chance, so. Number one is AJ Lee. Any of you who know me know that AJ is my favorite. There was a period where I stopped watching wrestling, like around 2010-ish. I stopped watching wrestling for a while, and then 2013, 2014-ish, when AJ was... When she had the storyline with Daniel Bryan and CM Punk and Kane, and she was, like, kissing them all and, like, playing them all, that's when I started liking and watching wrestling again. And then she went all anti-diva and was the champion for a long time until Nikki Bella happened. Well, actually, it was Paige who took it from her, and then Nikki took it from Paige, and y you guys get it. She was so different for her time, and she's a really good wrestler. Uh, I loved her attires, her moves, everything about her was just perfect. And I don't know if they'll ever find another AJ Lee or someone that I like as much as her. Alexa Bliss has been the closest, but Alexa's in-ring skills aren't as good as AJ's. AJ just had it all. I posted a thing on my Instagram a while ago when I first did this whole 30 women thing. And you guys decided who was the best. And I forgot the order of everybody, but... Charlotte was number 30. Let me clarify, this was just all my picks, and then you guys put them in order. So Charlotte was number 30, and then the final four was Billy Kay, AJ Lee. Oh, and wait, no. It was Billy Kay, Sasha Banks, Paige, and Alexa Bliss. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that. Thanks for watching, and bye. Go, go.